I have been on a skunk spree. I'm hoping to break that today. I've always heard that if you get sprayed by a skunk, to get that stink off, the best way is to use tomato sauce. So what I did today is I picked up some V8 and I'm gonna drink this tomato juice and hope that it gets that skunk stink off. And I'm gonna be sipping on this throughout the day because it has been way too long since I caught a fish. It has been tough, man. There we go, good start for that. It's gonna work, it has to, it just has to. I'm gonna get these rods baited up, throw them out there, and if I catch anything, I will be happy today. I'll be using various flavors of fish bites today. I have these pre-cut, I always pre-cut my fish bites, and I'll also be using some frozen shrimp that I'm gonna go ahead and cut up into dime nickel size pieces. And I'm gonna be trying out the Bruno rig today. I tied this one up using owner number one Mutu light circle hooks on it. And I did get these floats from the sinker guy. I am gonna put this rod close in, in this hole right here, close to that watch. There we go, put, try that out. I'm definitely spreading my baits out today. Some of the fish have been coming in close, black drum and pompano. This rod also has the Bruno rig on it, and I'm just gonna sling this one out there. Put this rod in the other hole. And then I'm gonna launch this one out, but not as far as the other one. I'm gonna try to get it closer to that sandbar. Just like right where the waves are coming up at. There we go. And let those sit. I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes. If I don't get any bites, I'm gonna move down the beach to that next point down there and try fishing over there. I really wanna get that skunk stink off of me today. And between V8 and moving around, I think I can make that happen. This line looks a little slack. Something might have hit it. Could have been a wave too though. I think I'm gonna move though. I've moved these rods all over the place with no success so far. So I'm gonna move down to the beach a little bit. And I'm literally just moving down to this next point. Sometimes it's all it takes, just moving down a little bit to the beach. There could be a food source here that I'm unaware of and they're munching on it right now. Didn't get a single bite at the second spot. Gave it like 30 minutes. And then I decided to move again to a third location. Just finished getting set up. Figured I'd drink some more V8. Keep getting that skunk stink off. And with there being a bunch of reports of bluefish around, I figured I'd grab my rod, walk down the beach, and throw it while I waited for a bite. Oh man, is that a fish? It's a fish! <laughs> no way! Oh man. Oh, it's a good one too. Nice. Oh my God, if I can land this, it'll feel so good. It's splashing. Good head shakes on it. I didn't even get to reel my lure in. It's still in the water. Come on, what we got? That feels like a drum. Holy crap. That is the biggest pompano I've ever seen. Oh my God, dude. Oh, sh what? I don't even know what to say. Oh my God. That is a tank. Tank pompano. Whoa. That is easily my biggest pompano. That's a PB for sure. I haven't even measured it yet. But I, I thought it was a drum. He was splashing strong head shakes. Good pulls on him. And he went for a green pill float. I was trying small pill floats today. Got this from DS Custom Tackle and a green shrimp fish bite. And these are 
number one owner Mutu Light Circle Hooks. And it, there was no way that fish was getting off. Well, let me go measure this tank real quick. All right, on the zero, 18 to the fork, Pompano. Massive. 18 to the fork, oh my God. Beat my PV by two inches. That thing is fat. It just feels so good to finally break that skunk and break it with this. I'm gonna go chug some more of that V8, throw this rod back out behind that bar and see if there's any more of these big studly pumps cruising. All right, I'm putting this rod in the exact spot, obviously. Just right behind the sandbar. All right, I'm moving this rod. I'm too, I'm too pumped up, man. I, I, I just feel like that's where they're gonna be. I mean, if there's a studly stud cruising there, there's gotta be more, man. All right, got one hour of light left. What can we make happen? I can tell you what, I am not moving spots after catching that stud though. Not happening. I am staying right here. I think that was a bite. Yeah, that's a bite. That's a bite. That's not a wave. Yep, there he is. Nice. I, th I threw this one past the bar. Same spot. Good shakes on him. It's probably another pump. Feels like another good one too. He's out there splashing again. Nice, man. It's turning on. That's what I like. That is what I like. This is a good fish though. It is not wanting to come over that bar. Come on, buddy. Get in that trough. All right, he's right here. He's right here. Can't see what it is yet. Come on. Come on. I see silver. Nope, nope. That's not a pot. That's a red. It looks like a slot red, too. Come on, buddy. I'm keeping that drag a little loose. There we go. That wave, I got him. He's mine now. Nice. Beautiful red right there. Look at that guy. Got a little bit of blue tail left. And he went for the purple and white float with an orange crab fish bite. We get a measurement on him. All right, yeah, he's... He's over slot. If I pinch that tail, it's going to be past 28. I don't really want to keep one redfish anyways. Turning out to be a good evening out here. I moved three times to get to this spot. Sometimes that's just what it takes to find those fish. Going to put this beautiful fish back. All right, pulled my pants up so I can get it in the water a little bit. I like getting them in past the breakers. Well, my pants fell down. That's it. Yeah, I'm wet. I can do kicked off good too. Yeah, I ended up getting soaking wet, but it's worth it catching those fish. And I like making sure I get them in the deep water, not throw them right in the swirling breakers in the shallow sand. I like making sure I get a good release on them. Oh, I'm gonna get cold. It is gonna happen. My legs are already cold. Let's get this back out, man. I think that's the spot, just right past the bar do my best to show where I'm throwing it. Like right there, if you can see that splash, like just past it, right where those waves start coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and reel this one in, do a bait check and move it. It's way out there. The bite's picking up. I wanna make sure I have good bait on all my rods. Go ahead and drink a little more of this V8. It seems to be working. I about finished it too, you can't see it, but it's like right here. I'm really trying to get that skunk off. 
And since throwing this lure has been the only time I seem to get a bite, I'm gonna go try to catch a bluefish. Like I said, coming out here, I have been on the struggle bus, smelling like a skunk. And I'm gonna credit the day to the VA. No way, already. No, I can't make this stuff up, man. I, I just can't. This is That was a, a hit, throwing the lure. Sweet, fish is still there. <laughs> oh my God, every time I go throw the lure, I catch a fish. This feels like another good one. Not quantity today, but quality. And I just threw this one back out. Just lobbed it back out there. Not as many head shakes on it, so not sure what it is. Come on, what we got, what we got? And it's another pump. Or no, that's a black drum. Little puppy drum, sweet. He went for a cra orange crab fish bite tip with shrimp. Look at that, he's got a worm hanging out of him. See, even the little guys get these worms on the outside of them. Nice little black drum right there. He doesn't have his stripes for whatever reason, but I know it's a black drum, it's gotta be. And that's the first black drum I've caught in a minute. So that's pretty sweet, but I'm gonna get this dude back. I don't feel like keeping anything but pumping today. Plus he's got a worm hanging out of his gill plate right there. But cool catch, and I'm getting him back. I'm gonna go throw that lure again. All right, my pants are already wet, so screw it. I like getting them in this deeper water. There you go, buddy. Enjoy life. To get another piece of shrimp on there. And lob this back out. Not far at all. There we go. Oh, this has a fish on. Oh man, it's a good fish too. I thought that looked like a fish. What is this? this is big. This is a big fish right here. Yeah, head shakes. That's what I'm talking about. That don't feel like no stingray. Nice. This been just sitting there. I kind of noticed the rod just barely wiggling. I'm like, that's got to be a fish. This rod's way out there. It's not the waves. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> this is going to be fun. He's probably going to take me down the beach a good bit. There he goes. Oh yeah, good run. And I let them run. When they're running, just let them run. Because I'm only using a 20 pound pump on a rig on here. I don't have thick leaders, so I can't put a ton of pressure on them. I'd rather take my time and land the fish and horse them in and break it off. Because they'll get tired. They always do. Oh man, I got another fish. Oh, I need help. Unless that was the, whatever this is. Oh, he's on the bar now. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on here. Let me set the hook so I can at least keep him on. Whatever this is, it is strong and it does not want to come in. Oh yeah, that's definitely a big ugly. I saw that tail. Nice, no stingray. Unless it's just a monster red. Come on buddy, get in that trough and just give in to it. All right, I think he came in the trough. He's moving, he's on the move. Yeah, he's, he's definitely close. See that tail?
Can't tell if it's a red or a black drum yet. You know what? I think it's a red. I think it's a big red. Show me that dot. Just working with these waves. Take your time. This is the worst place to lose a fish. Come on, one more. One more good wave will do it. Yeah, that's a massive red is what that is. He's got a nasty injury too. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do by myself. Come on, come on. A little more, a little more. That guy's beached right there. Sweet. Oh man, this might be a PB kind of day. That looks like my personal best redfish right there. That is a tank. Let me get a measurement on him. And he went for the Bruno rig, orange float with an orange crabfish bite. And this did have shrimp on it. Oh my gosh. That red weighs a lot. And owner one, Mutu Light Circle Hook. You don't need big hooks to catch big fish. And it didn't barely straightened out. I mean, that was a big fish and I was yanking them up the beach, but never failed. You can see he got hurt. No telling what happened to him. That wasn't for me. I'm gonna hurry up and measure this dude. All right. Oh yeah, he's bigger than the tape. Beautiful red right there. I gotta hug him. I'm not long arming this guy at all. I'm just giving him a nice hug. He's about 37, 38 inch. New PB, definitely my biggest. This guy's heavy. Awesome fight. Ended up being an excellent day out here. I'm gonna put this dude back. All right, come on, buddy. I'm just gonna get in there with you, screw it. You deserve a good release. Kicked off nice. Back out there. All right, this rod was going off during the fight. All right, there's nothing on there. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, and I'm cold. I came home and weighed that pompano and it weighed 4.44 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the V8 definitely worked. I, I, it could be coincidence, but I caught two personal best fish out there on that day. So from now on, when I'm on a skunk spree, I'm getting some V8 and I'm definitely drinking it. But look at the difference in these fillets. It's ridiculous. This is like your regular 11, 12 inch pompano. And then this is that 18 inch stud. So much bigger. I usually put four fillets in this pan. I can barely fit two in there. I'm just gonna use my go-to recipe to cook this and that's bake it with Slap Your Mama and Everglade seasoning. And then my wife is gonna make a Korean sauce to go with it that's really good. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Put some olive oil in the pan and take a brush and just spread it out. I'm gonna use some of this Everglades seasoning. I'm not gonna go crazy with it because we are using that Korean sauce with it as well. And then Slap Your Mama, this is this is where it's at right here. This, this just makes pompano so good. I'm gonna bake these for, I usually do 20 minutes, but these being so thick, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like 22 minutes, 23 minutes, see what happens. What's your fish dance? Okay. I don't wanna show my fish dance. I like your fish dance. Where was it? Yeah, he's swimming? Yeah. My lovely wife, Katie, is gonna make the Korean sauce. One teaspoon of sesame oil, quarter cup of soy sauce, a couple shakes of sesame seeds, as much Korean hot pepper flakes as you can handle, dried chives. All right, timer just went off, so I'm gonna put it to broil on high for three minutes. You ready for some pompano? Yeah! Oh yeah. There they are. You can see all the bubbles on the top of it, getting all nice and crisp. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Does that smell good, Alyssa? Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Oh, look, she's excited. Alyssa loves pompano. Mm. It's a little hot. Dip it in your sauce, too. Don't forget about the sauce. That's good, right? It's super duper good. Oh, let's give Shaggy some too, cause he loves that nice pompano. Yeah, that's good, right Shag? Mmm. It's one of the biggest pompanoes that I have caught. Yep, that's the biggest. So big that this one fish is gonna feed all of us. Now this is lunch, it's not dinner, but it'd be enough for dinner too. Usually we eat two pompano between the whole family. Sometimes even three pompano. Yeah, see Katie gets it on there. Let me know if you think it tastes better than a regular pompano or worse. When or I was, worse. Well, yeah, when I was filleting it, it is a lot of fat on the knife, so I bet it's really good. It's got 10 times or 11, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. 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 But I was curious because like some fish like redfish and black drum when they get bigger the meat quality is not as good and I was just wondering if it'd be the same for pompano. I've never had one this big. I'm gonna give it a try too. I'm curious man. I'll do. I'm done. I'm done. Oh man. Dad, I'm full. It's like extra rich. Take that regular pompano flavor and just make it more buttery and rich. It tastes amazing. It might taste better than the small fish. The meat's not tough like you would with like a drum. The meat gets tougher and just not as good, but man, this is like, it's like it gets better with age, I don't know. Well, we're gonna eat this monster pump. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and until next time, take care and tight lines. I'm done. Zeroed out, let's measure this monster. Four point three nine pounds, and actually weighed it already. But we're doing it for YouTube now. When I got home, it was four point four four pounds. But that shows that pompano shrink. So if you're in a tournament, you need to get it in as fast as possible. And four pound pompanos are not common. So I am really, really proud of this fish. Which means I got my four pound pompano coin from Tony Fagioni. He gives these out to anyone who catches a four pound plus pompano. Wow.